We're here at the sort of unveiling of 52 new interim beds in District 13. This is the Jan Clayton Center run by Volunteers of America. And now we're able to house more people in our district. We know we have a homelessness crisis in the city and we need to build permanent supportive housing, uh, but we know oftentimes that takes a lot of time. Uh, but we can do interim housing uh, beds such as this one. So that gives us the ability to, at the very least, get folks off of the street uh, with a case manager, um, different kinds of services, while we build for the permanent supportive housing. We can take 52 people off the street, under a roof with their own room, three hot meals, uh, and as permanent supportive housing opens up, they can go into their new home. When you're out in the streets, for the most part, like you, you want to have a nice warm shower or a nice warm bed to lay into at night, um, and those things are just not readily available. You might be able to, to bathe or take some kind of shower, but there's nothing that beats that warm shower that you can have, um, and it just gives them, it elevates their mood, it makes them motivated to do more, it makes them motivated to go and um, just to make the better decisions to make their lives better. At first, when homeless uh, advocates came to me, I didn't trust them. They had to come and earn my trust. Here, it's a uh, responsibility of yourself. You have a room, you have meals, uh, you have a shower. Those are pretty much the amenities that these people need. So, I'm glad I have it. <laughs> They're embarrassed. They don't know and they need to be approached with empathy.